and off it goes. Testing. There we are. Okay, so we are already into the uh, thing. Top fan is Grammy Plays. Thank you, Grammy. Code, can we collab sometime? Maybe. I don't know. Um, you're not supposed to ask for collabs inside my Discord, but like, head over there and see how many people are in there. Because there's like, I hope you guys understand the whole reason I made my Discord was to kind of separate out like <clears throat> the Lumber Tycoon 2 portion of myself from like the YouTuber portion of myself. So you guys have a place where there's a ton of YouTubers, not just um, me. So don't be afraid to ask somebody else for a collab. Like um, there's tons that you could do and have fun with. And thank you Grammy Plays for the 100 likes. Thank you Jay for 10 likes, 10 likes. Thank you, HC, for the 10 likes times four. Nice. Thank you guys so much. All right. Um, I was doing something here. What was I doing? Oh, I got to kill all the um, motors. Those are just textures. Those are textures. There's a motor. Delete. Oh, man. Well, that's poopy. So poopy. All right. Um, okay, let's do this. I think it was because Roblox is having a problem today. That's why the motors are gone. Hmm. Where's the humanoid root part? There it is. So let's go to creator. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, yeah. Let's go back over to the model. Back to the model. And we are going to select, um, all of these, put a transparency of 0.75. That way I can see inside inside them. And now we can go back over to the plugin, go to the custom, select a model. This is the model I want to model. Uh, you may continue, edit, we're going to start bind. Bind that to the torso, and then we're going to bind the torso to the head. Then we're going to bind the torso to the fake head that's on the inside here. Squeech in here just a little bit. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, 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 no. I've already got that one. Dang it. Did I just do a double? Okay, there's only one, so that's good. Uh, bind torso to the inside head. There we go. And we're going to bind the head to the fake head out here in the front. Like, like that. Okay, so now we can go bind torso to front left leg, bind torso to back or front right leg, bind torso to back left leg, bind torso to back right leg, back left, back right. That should be all the pieces. So now we need to head into the edit. <clears throat> oh, this is the part that takes forever. All right, let's grab this one and we're gonna go okay. We need to move this first. Put that down to tens. There we go. Is that halfway in? That's good. And move this down. So right there and it's about halfway through and we're gonna come one more over that direction good now switch back over to the rotate so okay and this rotate needs to be facing the back like that good we're gonna call this back left I'm not gonna put leg in it anymore he, he doesn't have any arms. We're, we're not worried about the <clears throat> the legs. Thank you, Austin, for becoming a fan. Thank you, Pure, for the one. The one sign. The one symbol. Beautiful. <laughs> and thank you, Grammy, for keeping my chat safe. Edit. I need to find this one. There we are. So, 
Uh, where is forward facing? Let's go by one fifth. There we go. Now we're going to go to L, no. Position, there we are. Pull this out. Needs to be halfway through, like that, like that, and then we can push it all the way down and one in. There we go. That's good. Name this one back right, back right, and enter. Did the other one save as back left? I don't remember. It did not. It's because you have to press enter back left. There we go. And if you have a problem, like if it's going too fast for you, hold shift and it slows you down. That's uh, that's a big tip. So, code, we can't see your face. Why? It, oh, am I off to the left or to the right? Hold on. Um, let's go to scene. Nope, not that one. Uh, video capture. There we go. Fade. Is that better? Can you see my face now? Yay. <clears throat> oh my gosh, there's there's 11 people on the YouNow stream. Thank you for joining me on the YouNow stream. Thank you for joining me inside the Mixer. If you're over at Mixer, I cannot see what your chat says because there's no like one way to get all the chats into one place. Um, if you're on Twitch, I don't see your chats either. Oh my gosh, indigestion is like for reals tonight. I don't know why. I keep like doing these little boop, boop, and it's like, it's not even like a full on, you know, <clears throat> but it happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so excited though. Like there's, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Code, um, the creeper's head needs to be fatter, and when will you play Paragon? The, <laughs> the creeper's head does not need to be fatter. Um, you're talking about the, like, the little miniature um, toys, right? Like the, the ones from the play sets. That one actually has different colors. If you look, it only has two tones of green, which is a dark green and then an overall lighter green. And his head is fatter. In fact, I have one sitting on my desk at the office. Hold on. I think I took a picture of myself. Hold on. Okay. You can't, can't quite see it, but right in the middle... Just below my, oh gosh, you're never going to see that, are you? Okay, hold on. Can I switch over to big face? Come on, big face. There we go. If you look right in the middle of my desk at work, mind you, this is at, at work. I have a fidget spinner, a creeper, and a block of TNT sitting on my desk. Oh, wow. And that's what happens when you have filtering enabled. Hold on. Um, let's go back over to the scene, fix the camera, fix the camera. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will fix this. Mm -hmm. Filters. I'm just going to hide the filters for a second. Okay. There you go. So there you go. Right in the, uh, the middle. There's a green fidget spinner, a little green um, creeper, and a TNT block. And then that's my computer screen and stuff. But that's, that is at my work. I, I am a great big nerd at home and at work. I've got a Rubik's Cube in my cubicle, Mario posters. There you go. So right there, there's my Mario poster, and then there's... Munchkin, the uh, card game, and then there is uh, Rubik's Cube, Puzzle Cube, stickers. Like, his office is really cool, by the way. Yes, yes, it is. <clears throat> so.
Scout K D A. Scout. Scout. Kyle? Kyle? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Who's Nathan? We I don't know who you're referring to, sir. <clears throat> Personal information, dude. <laughs> All right, let's turn back on that chroma key. And let's get my big face off of here. Uh, cut it back over. Here we go. And fading and we're fading. We're fading. <laughs> okay, let's get back into what I was originally doing. Thank you so much for the heart hands and for the tips and the hundreds, hundred likes. Thank you. Guys, oh, we are up to 872 likes over on you now. Um, if you did not know, you can go over there and hit the free spin button thingy and it will give you free things to give. So if you wanted to, you could hop over there and do the free thing for me, but I'm not supposed to ask for it. But just as it's your choice, if you wanted to, you could. Just saying, saying, saying. I'm just saying. So, okay. Well, that was um, <clears throat> awkward code. Why did you do that? Well, because I need to. I need to, like, advertise myself and put myself out there for people. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go to edit and edit. And we're going to grab that one right there. We're going to pull that back like that. And we're going to drop it down like that. We're going to drop it like it's hot. Put that right in the middle. Um, do I need to... I don't think that's even with the other one, is it? Actually, that is dead center. Dead tap center. That's perfect. All right, so let's hit um, K on that one. And see how this has the little L bar coming out the side? Thank you for the birthday cakes, Austin. And 10 likes in the heart hands. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Okay, is that? Oh, I over-rotated. Do not over-rotate. It's kind of like a car. All right, mm, and we're gonna call this left, no, front left. Was it front left? Yeah. Front left. Enter, and now we can go back. Now I need to grab that one. Wait, did I grab the right one? Mm. No, I need to grab that one. Hold on, back. I need to grab this one right here. Oh gosh. That one, there we go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do the rotation first. And we'll rotate it this way. That looks good. And now we're gonna hit uh, K. Pull this out. Pull this over like that. And then pull this down like that. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Pull it up some. Just by one. Oh, that was, that was way off, way off code. Fail. There we go. Now it's even. And we're going to call this front, right, front, right, enter. Now, this one actually attaches up here, but we're not going to touch that one. So we need to touch this one right here. Back and edit this one. Oh, come on. Come on, you. Ah, hold shift, hold shift, hold shift. Up, up, up. Inward. That one. Wait, what is that attached to? I don't see the red line at all. Mm -mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't. 900 likes. Yes. We're up to 920 likes over on you now. Code, I love you. I love you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> just got emojis on there. Hello, Grammy. Hello, Beagle? Or Bagel? It's Bagel Hunter. Bagel Hunter says hello. <clears throat> Code, read. please read Blood Moon. Question about blocks inside each other. 
Um, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon. Where is your question? Code, how do you make blocks go inside other blocks like you did with the creeper face? Oh, okay. So, um, you're talking about this. So, let's go to models, and I'm just going to stick two parts out here, like this. And we're going to select move. So, um, see this collision right here? When you have collision on, stuff sticks to other stuff, right? So like, I can't, I can't get this to, it's just not working, right? So what you do is you unselect collisions and then you select move, oops, select move, and then use the arrows. As long as you're using the arrows, you can put blocks inside blocks. Make sense? Uh, by the way, I learned this all from the tutorials. Um, Stickmaster Luke. Stickmaster Luke, if you're out there listening, I love you, dude. Thank you so much for all your help in the tutorials. Um, here's code, how's your day? It's really good. It's really good, thank you for asking. Here's kind of the cool thing. I, I love the negative stuff. That sounded weird. Um, the negatives like this, you can place inside solids or positives and make things happen. <laughs> I know that's a great way of explaining it, but here, I'll show you. One, two, wait, was that two? Oh, I'm still moving at half steps. Let's go to one. So, two, one, two. So now if I take this negative block right here, we go one, one. That should be dead tap center of that block. And we know that these are the same size, right? So, Let's move, let's see. I need to work with the X axis. So I'm gonna look at position, this one, which is 140.5. Uh, I'm gonna go back over to my other block, this one. And we're gonna set it to 140.5. Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. <clears throat> Oh, I guess I need the X axis. Whoops. So what was this one? This one was negative five, uh, negative 159. This is negative 159.5. So just take out the 0.5. Boom. That is now right in the center. So we have a solid and a negative inside each other. When we select both of these, come on, come on. There we go. We've got both parts selected over here. And you can see both parts are selected, negative part and part. We come up here and we do a union. It's going to take the negative portion of the negative block and cut it out of the positive portion. Boom. So we now have this thing called a union. So whatever was negative here is now positive and blah, 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 blah. So code. What are you trying to make? Because I come to see the creeper screen thing in my screen. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. He's up now. Oh, thank you. Sh Chanel, Chanel, <clears throat> Chanel, the king for 1000 bars. Thank you so much, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> oh God. What is he up to now? <laughs> I had a question and I was answering a question. Okay. I'll go make the creeper now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if you don't know already, I have ADHD and you can definitely see it and tell it whenever it's in full effect. It's better on some days and other days it's just uncontrollable and you'll, you'll see that. So if you have any kind of ADHD, um, autism, Asperger's, Asperger's, um, anything like that, you understand where I'm coming from because you can't tell somebody that doesn't have ADHD what it's like to have ADHD. It's just, it's impossible. So that's why we say coffee, coffee, coffee. Yes. So for those of you who haven't watched my um, Draw My Life, I found that coffee does the same effect as the Adderall and the Siler that were experimental medicines whenever I was growing up and everybody was getting diagnosed with ADHD. No, you will know if you have ADHD. Um, <clears throat> your, 
your parents, if they say, oh, you're just being ADHD right now. No, you don't know what ADHD is unless you have ADHD. And um, if you, if you really want to know, go watch any video where me and my kids are playing. And you will know the difference in between like being hyper and what ADHD actually is. Mountain Dew helps you. Do you know why? Because Mountain Dew has high amounts of caffeination. The caffeine inside there actually causes our brains to like calm down. The same thing goes with coffee. <clears throat> okay, the creeper's got to wait for a second. <clears throat> Imagine that if um, the normal brain is at a level 1 and an ADHD brain is at a level 10. When you drink coffee, your brain would go from level 1 to level 5 as far as your thinking process and... Da -da 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 an ADHD brain, when they drink coffee, it's at a 10 and it goes to a level 5. So technically, we go to the same level, it's just we are now able to concentrate. It slows us down just enough to concentrate, to focus, and to maintain what we were doing in the first place. So, back to the creeper. Whew. <laughs> Yippee, welcome. Thank you. I love you, Code. Thank you. But it's delayed. What's delayed? Okay, okay, back over here. Please select a model. All right, let's select our model. There we go. Let's go into edit. We are going to edit, and I need to move this one, right? Hold on. What part are we moving here? All right, that's the that's the head torso portion. And I realized something. Um, if we're going to animate it the way that I want to, it doesn't go right at the base of the neck. It needs to go kind of inward. Like, not all the way in, but probably one-fourth the way in. Because when the creeper, like when you're standing up on a cliff and the creeper looks up at you, his head doesn't wobble back like this. You know, it kind of does this slide thing. So the pivot point is actually more towards like the base of the neck. Because if, if my head were to pivot on that single point, that's like, you you wouldn't have their head go like this. It would be more of a, like a slide. So, I was wrong in telling you guys where to place this block, or this motor, yesterday. Does that look even? That does not look even, does it? Even, Steven? Hold on, let's move it out that way a little bit. And back towards the center a little bit. Like that, and down a little bit. There we go. And we're going to call this the neck motor. Enter. Back. Okay, I think we have enough that we can do some animation. Um, let's go back over here to our fake head. Transparency of zero. We're going to exit out of this finished. We're going to go to all of these parts and make them transform to a zero. Thank you. And then the human humanoid root part. Oh gosh. Custom character creator. Get out of there, dude. Okay. Editor, 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 editor model. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. That one. 0.5 is going to be a zero. Or no, that's going to be a one. Full on transparencies. What happened to his face? Head detail, there it is. Zero. Mm. Oh, the texture has some transparency to it. That's why we're getting that weirdness, huh? Fake creeper head. There it is. Nice. The torso still has 0.5. Why is it doing that? I said transparency, zero, and I meant it. Transparency of zero, and I mean it. Humanoid root part, transparency of one. There. There he is. <laughs> Welcome back, Creeper. By the way, we gotta make him explode. <clears throat> Let's go to the animator editor. Editor, click, select. Nice. Okay, so.
because we detailed out all the portions of where he's connected at in things, he now has all of these. Humanoid root part is the main one, torso comes next, and then everything is attached to those things. So, one thing I did notice is the ground doesn't have the, the nifty little stuff on it. Let's go back over here to model, model, uh, rotate. Give me this leg. I need to move at one stud, 45 degree angles. We're going to 15 degrees. And, oh no, I can't do that. No. <clears throat> so that animator has ruined my character. Hmm. Okay, let's go back over the plugins, back to the animator. Select him, select. Good. Okay. Can we just insert portion? Why can't I select the leg? No. There we go. Whoa, what happened? What in the world? Oh, goodness. Okay, let's get out of that. Come here, creeper. Where did you go? Is he there? <laughs> His foot fell off. What? Okay, now I'm having some difficulty. So let's go back over to the home. We're going to go to move, select the single part, and front leg. Let's just move this, rotate one, two, like that. While we're at it, select this leg. One, two, select this leg, one, two, select that back leg, one, two. Now, we're going to have to move the entire thing up, get it out of the ground so I can actually see it. There we go. Oh, his poor, poor little legs. Look at him. Would you look at him? All right, can we move? That's not going to work. Go back over to the model, switch out to point 0.1. There we are. Come down a little bit. Make sure it's attached. There we go. The little red line that just appeared right there, that shows that it had attachment of some kind. So. There he goes. We'll, we'll fix his legs up. Don't worry. Creeper's okay. Sorry, little creeper. Poor little guy. And then grab that leg up there. Come back down here, dude. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Silly plugins. You know, you know why the program messed up like that, right? Why the plugin didn't work correctly? It's because I didn't program it. Sorry, that was me being silly. All right, let's move that up just a little bit so the feet will kind of touch through the ground there. <clears throat> and this portion needs to be anchored. I completely forgot about that. When you're animating anything, you want those to be portioned. Or, uh, and, uh, bleh. You know what I mean. You, you know what I mean? There we go. Okay. So, um, because I don't want to lose him again, control D, I'm going to duplicate my creeper, get him out of the way, and F5 real quick, just see if they're still moving around. Oh gosh, what happened to their legs? No, what happened to their legs? Oh no, the binding is all wrong. Oh. Well, that's... <laughs> I'm going to have to work on that again some other time. Um, I might even work on it off camera because what happened was the joint binds are in a specific position. And as soon as we started the game, they jumped to the position that they were bound to. So that's why the legs went in the way they did. Um, something simple that we possibly could do 
is a snake that would have like three blocks as its pieces and then do an animation like that something um i really really want to get the creeper to work so i'll i'll work on the creeper we'll work on his binding until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe down below um if this is your first time don't forget to go over to you now become a fan go check me out on twitch instagram twitter at me just anything code primate that's that's me don't forget to jump into the discord because inside the Discord, I talk to the fans. I'm in there at least twice a day. If you guys want to come in and chat or just say hello, it's up to you. If you want to meet a ton of of uh, YouTubers. I, I know, Grammy. I know. I know. I'm way over time. There are a ton of YouTubers over there. And it ranges from small channels to big channels to huge collaborations of people. I mean, it is an amazing thing to see, to watch, and to do. So... Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. Bye.